the U.S. Navy tried to turn whale sounds into secret code. An American submarine desperately needs to get in contact with other ships in the U.S. Navy, but Soviet anti-submarine aircraft and warships are on the hunt, listening for any clues as to its whereabouts. During the search, the sonar operators hear a pod of whales singing to each other and don't give it another thought. However, what they just heard was actually the sub using a secret, covert communication system that mimics sea mammal noises. This wasn't a scene from a spy novel or blockbuster Cold War submarine thriller, it was how the US Navy once envisioned real life undersea operations. In 1959, the Navy Electronics Laboratory got to work on the concept as part of Project Combo. The work centered on the understanding that, under the right conditions, certain marine mammal sounds and the vibrations they generated might travel over very long distances underwater. More importantly, they'd appear so common as to go unnoticed by the enemy. Marine animal sounds are common and prominent components of the natural underwater sonic environment, engineers at the Naval Ocean Systems Center, NOSC, explained in a report more than two decades later. Military communications based on natural animal sounds confound detection by even informed enemy surveillance because the messages are but a small portion of the total biological chorus. Submariners and their boats have long proven their worth for patrolling large areas discreetly, performing surveillance missions, and quietly inserting elite troops and agents behind enemy lines. Roving ballistic missile submarines, which are especially hard for opponents to locate and target, are a key component of the America's nuclear triad. They call it the silent service for good reason. But rapidly communicating and sharing information with other friendly forces was a persistent problem. One of the biggest underlying problems was that radio waves simply don't travel well through salt water. As radars, sonars and other sensors continued to improve after World War II, a submarine riding on the surface sending signals home increasingly risked giving away its position and becoming a prime target. This is where the combo gear came in. The basic plan was to develop coded messages from recordings of whales, dolphins, sea lions, and seals. The submarine would broadcast the noises and a computer, the Combo Signal Recognizer, CSR, dash would detect the specific patterns and decode them on the other end. The message structure couldn't just substitute the moaning of a whale or a crying seal for us and bees or even whole words. In addition, the sounds Navy technicians recorded between 1959 and 1965 all had natural background noise. With the technology available, it would have been hard to scrub that out. In 1970, the Defense Advanced Research Agency, DARPA, the Pentagon's top advanced research and development arm, became involved with COMBO. The organization put up the funds to synthesize the recorded sounds into a useful audio library. Naval Ship Systems Command sponsored the work on the actual communications equipment. In 1973, the service conducted two series of undersea tests near Santa Catalina Island, one of California's Channel Islands near the city of Los Angeles. Static speakers and receivers sent and received six pre-configured messages at distances of 5, 10 and 20 miles. In the first round, technicians placed all the devices at depths of approximately 150 feet. They almost doubled that to 250 feet for the second set of experiments. The equipment worked almost perfectly, according to the Naval Ocean Systems Center. The original CSR computer successfully translated every sent message the 5 and 10 mile distances, and 90% of the sent messages at 20 miles. The diesel-electric research submarine USS Dolphin successfully exchanged a number of messages with a ship on the surface. The noises even reportedly attracted a number of whales. With these successes in hand, by 1980, Engineers working on Combo recommended continued development of the equipment as part of an existing low data rate, quick response communications program. 
They also wanted an extended library of marine animal sounds and related information. In 1989, the Navy began replacing its C-130 Kutakamo planes, based on the C-130 Hercules cargo aircraft, with larger and more capable E-6A Mercuries. In 2004, it shut down the Project ELF sites altogether. More than a decade later, improved E-6BS were still flying, though the Pentagon was looking into a future replacement. In the near future, submarines may end up communication via further improved radio systems, with underwater drones as relay nodes, or even with beams of light. There's the Navy is still interested in putting communication system based on animal sounds into service on submarines or any other warship. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.